The Newport News School Board has started the process to fire the district superintendent, Dr. George Parker. Members of the board met in a closed meeting tonight to discuss the assignment, appointment, and performance of specific administrators in the school division. That's how it was worded. Then your side's Michelle Wolf joins us now with more on that meeting along with tomorrow's school board agenda. Michelle? Tom and Lena, tonight board members debated and discussed the employment of the district superintendent. This after three school shootings in 16 months and a variety of safety concerns presented by Newport News families and educators at last week's school board meeting. Less than 24 hours after tonight's closed school board session discussing district administrators, two votes will take place in a closed session Wednesday evening. The two votes? Approval of separation and severance with the superintendent and appointment of interim superintendent. Ten on your side learned of these votes via a new school board agenda added Tuesday afternoon. Superintendent Dr. George Parker's role and hold over the school division repeatedly called into question during last Tuesday's school board meeting. Why did it take negative national attention before you took this seriously and actually reevaluated? I think it's time the citizens and parents of Newport News who did not elect you to reevaluate your services as our, our superintendent. I hope you have the moxie to make this decision. I really do. Because you can't change the past. You can only impact the future. So the only way I can see you impacting the future in a positive way is we need to change the leadership. Those close to the school system tell 10 on your side, four of six school board members will need to vote yes to fire Dr. Parker. And that the incident at Menchville High School last Friday, where two students from another school trespassed and assaulted a Menchville student, was the last straw. A parent who has a daughter in second grade at Richneck Elementary and a son who attended Heritage High School during the September 2021 shooting there sent the following statement. My child cried nightly for five days straight, associating death with her school and is worried it will happen again. She tells us she's looking into virtual options for her daughter and does not feel confident in sending her back to school. She's happy to hear Dr. Parker could be voted out, saying after the shooting at Heritage, she never felt like enough was done for what those kids experienced and that metal detectors are a temporary fix. Now, I reached out to school board members for comment regarding the division superintendent. I was told they can't yet comment on a pending vote. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.